Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders and I happen to keep the workout pretty simple. I focus mostly on my lateral delts because rear delts were pretty worked up from my back workout and the front delts were getting enough work. So yes, that would be the objective to get as much work done on our lateral delts to get a little bit more wideness look or well, that roundness in our shoulders also increasing our strength with some overhead pressing of course we start with the dynamic stretching just takes 3 to 4 minutes as i keep doing it on a regular basis just get better at speed during the transitions i don't waste much time I just move from one movement to the other and go seamlessly of course if you're new to this you might take a minute or two more but other than that shouldn't take more than 5 to 6 minutes it's a pretty easy way to do it the greatest stretch deep squat and bird dog pose now there might be reasons why you might not be able to do the bird dog pose so it's not compulsory it's just an optional thing to train your core of course you have extremely heavy uh i would say pot belly or for any reason even if you're if you're pregnant you wouldn't be able to perform this efficiently so not necessary to do it but yes if you are otherwise fine you can go ahead and perform this particular exercise as part of your dynamic stretching now after completing the dynamic stretching we go on to the mobility work which is something which i do regularly during my shoulder workouts just to warm them up to the range of internal and external uh, range of motions basically so what i do is plate rotations around my head now i have been progressing the weight of the plate constantly with every 2 or 3 weeks so you can take a weight which you are comfortable with while rotating it around your head as you can see i keep my entire back and my head in one straight line and move my shoulders around myself so that way my shoulder joint is going to the range of motion of external and internal rotations post completing these we can begin with our first exercise which would be the ca uh, cable lateral raises behind your back cable lateral raises so i have strapped up with my wrist bands so makes my job a little bit easier the reason why i'm taking them behind my back is to get a little bit of stretch doesn't make much of a difference on a regular basis is just mixing up my workout a little bit making small small differences to make sure i don't get bored quickly and also al always have that mind muscle connection trying to you know connect well with that particular exercise so i've done three sets of these with 20 repetitions of course i have done a warm up set where i've just do, did one set where i could feel the position get my posture right and feel the stretch and the weight right and once i was there with the first set of warm up i started doing my working sets with a good break of 60 seconds as you can see i was totally in control of my eccentric range of uh, portion of the exercise and i was closing to failure i started doing partial reps at the lengthened portion as many repetitions as possible so i would definitely recommend you to do that too to get that good nice bl uh, blood pump going on in your shoulders make sure if you're not comfortable with the uh, back or back side or back hand lateral raises you can always do it front hand it's not necessary to do the back hand then i tried overhead press on the smith machine first i tried with the pronated grip then i realized it's not so great than supinated grip i was just mixing up a little bit to see if, how effective it is it might feel like i'm working my chest here with an inclined press but i'm not i was trying to focus more on my front delts and a little bit of lateral delts i would rate this exercise 50 50 for me i was not really happy with the kind of pump i was getting in my shoulders post this exercise of course the lateral delt cable lateral delts were really great but yes sometimes the workouts don't work quite well this was something which i wanted to check if it works well on the smith machine but not any more a favorite next time i would definitely skip this and choose something else for an overhead press it might differ from person to person for you a overhead press on a smith machine with bench support might be absolutely the best thing for your front and lateral delts as you can see my shoulder was still working doing its job but i wasn't quite enjoying the movement as such after that i started off my calf work 
So can't work on the leg press machine. And as I recommend always, or at least suggest, you can totally skip it. If you don't feel that you need to work your calves much, you have great calves, go ahead, skip it. Or if you want to do some other calf work, like seated, standing, donkey calf races, up to you. If you're also someone who's trying to work on your calves a lot more, get a lot more volume going on and strength going on. And also, it's good to have or work your calves on a regular basis because good ankle mobility, um, good knee stability and strength, a lot of connectivity comes from these calf muscles. Small muscles, but a lot of job is done by them. So definitely recommend. We can do three sets. As many repetitions as possible, go as close to failure as possible and then you can take a 45 seconds break in between each set. Once done, I started off with my lateral races with dumbbells. I have done 3 sets here again, 20 repetitions. Now you can do the hold regularly. I was just trying or mixing up my wrist position to see what feels better or is there something better I can do. Not necessary for everyone. I was trying to keep my little finger facing forward or up towards the ceiling it's not necessary that you have to do the same you can just do the regular lateral races even standing i'm just just trying out stuff to see what works better so maybe i can recommend those things to you guys also in future make sure you control the eccentric portion as much as possible slight bending forward might help i try to de-shrug before starting off my or at least be conscious about not involving my traps as much as possible. They will be involved. There's not no stopping them. They will definitely be. It's a connected tissue. But otherwise, not to fatigue them at least. Try to keep the load always on your lateral delts. And of course, go as close to failure as possible in those 20 repetitions. And when you're failing, do those partial lengthened repetitions. And take a good amount of break before you start your next set. That's it. We are done with our exercises. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a pretty simple and easy day for our shoulders. Done right. It could be amazing. Here I am performing a simple decompression for my shoulders post-workout. Making circles on the floor without touching the floor. Just extending my arm, trying to touch the floor and making those circles. You can do 10 circles twice and you should be good to go. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.